Join with me today is Mr. Valley Flying, and we're going to talk about which the top best five characters right now to take and spend gold promotion credits and spend gold promotion credits. How are you doing, my guy? I'm doing good. How are you? Okay. So Congratulations, we, by the way. First time I've been on your channel since since the big announcement. Yes. Uh, we got engaged. We're hyped, and uh, you know we're planning to get married sometime next year. Not not we, you and your girlfriend. Yes. Or fia we, fiance we, now. Not, well, not we, us. Not us. Not us. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I only can punch up. I think that would be a punch up right there, Valley, if we got married. <laughs> I, could, I don't know how to... Anyway. <laughs> anyway, anyway, what are so, the characters you got? All right, did you just listen so to my channel? What we do did, you got in yours? Yeah, we did yours, and uh, I have a top five, but I have... I'm crying, I'm crying already. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have 11 characters I want to talk about. 11. And then, right. and then five of them are going to be my top five. We talked about yours, but I want to talk about 11 characters because uh, some of these characters I felt differently about in the past that I do today. Yes. And so there's a couple that I'm mega hyped on and All my right. list is different than yours, but I want to start this list off one that I've lost interest in, but I'm still going to partially recommend. Are you ready okay. for it? Are you ready for I it? Hope, I hope it's not one that made my top five. <laughs> no. So, okay. It, okay. So <laughs> did not make your top five, but I don't think you're going to be okay. surprised with this one. Are you ready? We're okay. ready. We're ready. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes, I agree. All right. I agree. All I agree. right. I agree. So, uh, you, he's hiding it, but I took him to seven red and I spent, uh, this is the only, I think this is the first and the only character I've ever spent, uh, 150 gold promotion credits to take him to seven stars. And typically my suggestion is, uh, I don't recommend any characters to seven red stars. I rather have three at six rather than two at seven. Does that make sense? Because it's a yes. hundred to take, you know, a character from five to six and then it's, another 150 to go from six to seven, and yeah. they're so valuable. I'd rather do, uh, have three sixes than two sevens. So here's the thing. Uh, if I, I, a lot of, you're, are you still using Thanos on offense in arena, right? And defense, I'm guessing? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not making hybrid teams yet. So I'm, I'm looking for black orders, and black orders counter black orders pretty easily. But those, okay. those hybrid teams counter black orders, so. So here's the question. I, 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 I want to put this out there. I still personally recommend taking him from five to six. I think there's a tremendous amount of value taking Thanos to six. But I took Thanos to seven many, many months ago, and it was a good value then. I'm not sure how I feel about it now. So what do you think about Thanos? I think that's fair. You know, back in the day, this this was my only max character. I think it's still my only max character. I don't regret using the promotion credits yeah, on this character no because regrets. it made a big difference in what I was able to punch up with my Black Order. I mean, it, it was significant as far as what I was able to do in Arena. And I think I got the value back significantly in the cores that I got from the Arena battles, you know, on a daily basis. Now... There's so many hybrid teams uh, running on uh, on defense. Right. Black Order doesn't beat those. Uh, it's 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 tough to recommend this. Six is still a big uh, is good though. You yeah. Know? So and they, and they, they still have value. They're still one of the best teams in the game. Yeah. And the reason why I I still think I can still confidently recommend six, but I, I do want us to say that this character, my recommendation is trending down, if you will. Uh, but the reason why I still can recommend six is I I got high value. I actually used him in. DD4, and I thought that was fine. He was okay. He, he was okay in DD4. He's, he's still going to yeah. be amazing in arena offense for a long time, and I'm actually getting a, quite a bit of use out of him in, in raids, in you know, in 4.3s, in some of the betas, in the gamma, and then also okay. inside of uh, Doom. Uh, you know, him next to Ebony Ma is, is quite good. So, uh, you know, I think that uh, as far as the entire Black Order team, I think I would be happy with Thanos at 6 and the rest of the team at at five i mean specifically ebony ma and 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 call at five uh, and i probably you know proxima and and corvus would probably be okay at four i mean i i, I don't know it's just it's hard to jump a lot more i think, think proxima is a little more value than corvus okay but, for sure yeah for sure yeah for sure anyways uh thanos still still makes my my, my recommendation and taking him to six i think he's going to be useful for a long time in war offense but i i think that there's going to be a pivot away from them i think they're I mean, it's been like a year, right? How, how long have they been in the top of the Reno? Like, it, it seems like it's uh, it's, been, it's been it's, it's about a year. It's about it's about a year now that uh, the Ebony Maw was released as a legendary character. So it's yeah. about there. I mean, it may be give or take a month or so, but yeah. about a year. Okay, 
Okay, so uh, so this is not one that I'm hyped about, but it's, it's still I still think this would be an excellent choice to take to six. Okay, okay. next, Symbiote Ooh, okay. Spider-Man. Now, um, this Interesting. is... Interesting. Okay, so this is another character that uh, I kind of... For a minute there, I was like, oh, Astonishing X-Men so much better. Uh, so uh, I want to say this. Uh, Symbiotes versus Astonishing X-Men in... U7.5. I think the clear winner is Astonishing X-Men, right? X-Men. Um, there's, there's an argument because I think a lot of people are bringing up their symbiotes anyway for their dark dimensions. So they might have a higher higher symbiotes and X-Men are viable at low lower stars. So yes. that's good. I, you're going to need both of these teams for the Doom Raids though. Correct. So uh, I was like, I, I remember when X-Men came out and I was like, I remember I had like a sub 400,000, maybe like a 300 and something thousand team. And I'm running through U7.5, which yeah. which was like a, a, sim, a team with like 200,000 more power or symbiotes you know, was, is what was required to get similar results, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, symbiotes are trash. No, they're not. They are not trash. Not. They're not. <laughs> and so they're not trash because... Uh, Doom Raids, uh, DD4, War Offense. Boy, they wreck nerds. You know, I took down a a Doom Rodders, an, a, an Emma Rodders with Doom yes. with Ooh. symbiotes. Dude, they they they, they take nice. down Sinister Six. They take down so many teams. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, um, as far you know, is he is he trending up, trending down? Is he neutral? I believe he's trending neutral. Uh, but I I could justify someone saying, hey, I want to take. Simeon Spider-Man from five to six. What do you think? Would you would you discourage someone from doing that, or what would you tell them? No, four to five is good. Five to six, I did that personally. I think I would still do that today. Six to seven, no, is no, no. a little little suspect for where they are right now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Dark Dimension Five comes out probably going to have another city lane, and these are going to be the best city characters unless there's some crazy characters that come out. So yes, yeah, symbiotes are still a lot of value, and you're, you're going you're gonna to need these guys to have high red stars in Doom anyway. So yeah, five to six, no problem. Yeah, Four I, to five, I, no brainer. I, I'm finding that I use them a ton still. So like I'm happy, and I, I think taking him, and, and he was somebody that I felt like I got value taking him to six. Uh, yeah. Also, I, I want to point out that uh, level five skirmisher has been quite good. Typically, the recommendation has been Raider on Symbiote Spider Man. Uh, I've been happy with skirmisher on him. And the other thing too okay. is on on Thanos. Uh, traditionally, it was Raider, but I think most people switched over to Striker. I just don't have the ions for it. But let's move on. Gotcha. Okay, okay, next let's talk Ooh. about Phoenix. And oh, this is somebody what? that is absolutely would. Uh, this is do not upgrade. This is okay, okay. this is somebody that I would <laughs> good actively discourage someone from upgrading yeah uh like do not i, I just don't see the value at all so i no. i unlocked uh, i actually got a phoenix to six red out of a out of an orb and actually okay. and i was using her on offense and war and i ran into many situations where she just wouldn't die and then she was yeah. solo versus the entire team and it created problems and it actually ended up being a liability having the higher red stars uh, and I just so I, I think Phoenix is quite viable at five. I absolutely positively would discourage anybody from doing gold promotion credits on Phoenix. What do you what do you think? Yeah, this, this is a double edged sword. If you naturally pull a Phoenix, it is what it is. But yeah. if you're using promotion credits on her, it, it hurts Phoenix because you want Phoenix to die and go to Dark Phoenix form. Helps Dark Phoenix a little. But if, if normal Phoenix is not dying in time and is it's hindering your roster and you're getting in that one versus five situation, it's it's not good. So there's a little benefit for Dark Phoenix, but I think the 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 this the what is that the non benefit in Phoenix mm -hmm. makes it makes it not worth it because you want to die you want to die early. Yeah, and, and I, I want to pivot a little bit and talk to something about you talking about like uh, if Silver. I, I just want to just throw this out there. Silver Surfer. What just say what we're gonna say about Silver Surfer? We can't Best upgrade character in the game. Best, Best character, character in the game. game. Right as of us recording this, though, he's not in the Silver Promotion Credit Store, and it's very hard to get gold stars on him. So that's the thing. But as soon as he gets there, yeah, so match if, match your gold star level to Silver Surfer. Yeah, uh, I was just gonna say, if you're watching this video and, and there's there's silver and gold promotion stars available for Silver Surfer, that is the biggest number one no brainer ever, in my opinion. Uh, as far as the top of our list, but it's it, it, we can't talk about this because it's not available. But when it is available, run, don't walk, 
you yeah. match like you said match your your red to your gold stars I, that he might be the only character I recommend going to seven red if that's available yeah, it, when, whenever you get the seven gold on him, yeah i don't know man he is so much better Could be a year from now he's so much he's the best character in the game i'm waiting yeah. i'm tech, in some ways i'm more impressed with him than doom anyways uh, i just just want to throw silvers because i didn't put him on my list but yeah we got to talk about silvers let's go to the next yeah. one all right baron zemo mm, um, nice okay so i, I where, where I, are you seeing value for him Okay, so here's the thing. I don't think you need him at six. I think you need him at five. Okay. And uh, I use him in RTA always. I use yes. him in arena a lot, a lot, okay, okay. a lot. Uh, the reason Baron Zemo having ability block is a, is a very helpful in taking down Doom. Uh, he's able to build. First of all, he clears that annoying taunt and defense up. That's either put by uh, Red Guardian or Shuri. You know, you know, the hide the doom teams. He counters those two characters almost instantly, and then he puts ability block on. You know, what, usually it's Phoenix, Emma, or Doom. Your choice, mm -hmm. kind of a big deal. Uh, so here's the thing: I think it's important to get Zemo to at least five. Uh, okay. I don't think I would take six on him. I pulled a six on him uh, naturally, and I'm very happy with him at six. Uh, lucky, lucky. But I don't think I could justify anybody going to six. What do you What do you think about okay. Zemo? I, I I gotta I gotta ask you why? Because if you're using him in arena, I, I'm pretty sure you're using him in Doom. You're using him in War, RTA. If you're using him in all those game modes, why Honestly, yeah. why stopping at five? I, I because I don't know how much more effective he's at six. Uh, and and you know I don't. I, He's such a good standalone character. You're right. I use yeah. him everywhere. I don't know. I I I I, I gotta tell you, if I pulled a seven on him tomorrow, I'd be thrilled. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, pulling. This is like a. This is a smart choice. Uh, I I think it's because he is. It's hard for me to say. He might be the flavor of the week. He might be good right now. I might be. You know. I. Uh, but I don't know if he's going to be the best thing ever, six months from now. But he's really good. He's really good. Ah. I think if someone if someone told me I'm going to spend uh, gold promotion credits on Zemo, I would say go for it. I'm not, I, I think it's a good choice. I'm not using him in as many game modes as you. I'm not using him in arena, but if I was, I mean, he would be on he would be in my top five definitely. So if if you're getting value in arena, I, I say go for it. Oh yeah, I, I I'm, I've, I've been using him in the arena because uh, I've been seeing a lot of Shuri's and uh, Red Guardians, and he just runs through them. And plus, I'm also using him in. Uh, Doom raids. Oh my god, I use him everywhere. Okay, yeah. I know. That's no, why. Like, why would you stop at five if you're using him in every game mode? <laughs> Dude, I use this guy everywhere. I use him in RTA. I use him in Arena. I use him in Doom raids. I use him in DD4. Yeah. I use him in. Oh boy, he wrecks nerds in war on offense. Oh my god, he counters like yeah. everything. All right, so never one mind. Man yeah, war. upgrade this guy to six. Let's let's go. Right. I'm sorry, you changed my mind. I, right. See, it's hard sometimes, like, because I, I didn't spend the gold promotion credits on him personally. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey, I just happened to get him, which I was lucky, right? All right, let's move yeah. on. Let's go to the next character. Uh, Mr. Sinister, uh, I have it six red. He was on the top of your list. I'm a little bit more lukewarm than him, than you are, but he still made my list. Um, I'll get, go ahead and pitch. You, you're way more excited about him than I am, but let's go ahead go right. and pitch it. That, I mean, it's that one move. It's the same reason that we were recommending six months ago. Is that clone mechanic. That's not gonna go away. You know, the new medic character comes out. You can get a stronger sinister. You could get a not, not sinister, You can get a stronger silver surfer than is possible in a game right now with his clone mechanic. If you have him built up and have the red stars on him, you could have the strongest silver surfer on the field. If you have Mr. Sinister and cloning a enemy silver surfer, uh, and another character comes out, you could have a stronger character than the opponents as yep. well with Mr. Sinister. So there is value, but there's there's a couple downsides that you did make a good point so what why why do you uh, why are you a little lukewarm on him okay so uh first of all i took him to six red and i did spend the gold promotion credits uh, on him to take him to six red and i feel like it's been a no-brainer yeah he wrecked nerds in uh the first six nodes of dd4 with ghost it was not a problem he's been very useful exactly uh i've also played in rta where someone cloned my silver surfer with a seven seven mr sinister and he deleted Ooh. my team with that silver surfer <laughs> yeah. it, it's just that's how it works right you know it's yeah. like wow you know what i mean it was just like wow you know what i mean and so in some ways uh he's he is inflation proof if you want to use that word because you know whatever the next best character is guess what yeah. yeah mr cern can mr sinister can clone him right 
My yeah. worry about Mr. Sinister is that he's a hundred speed. And, and 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 everything seems to be we're heading into this speed meta and every characters yeah. are getting turn meter manipulation boosted turn meter at the start higher speeds so on and so on you know you look at it so this is this is an issue 100 speed is not what it used to be uh in a lot of ways you know like it's always been very very average it's always been like baseline average yeah 100 speed and and so some somebody that was not on your list that is not on my list who happens to be a similar speed to Mr. Sinister is Black Bolt. And, and it's interesting yeah. that neither of us even thought to put Black Bolt on this list. And it's I large, thought about it, but then I thought about his speed. And it's, like, a, yeah. it's a speed. Speed's an issue. And yeah. and we play a turn-based game where the most important stat is always going to be speed. I mean, the more turns you can take, you know, we play a turn-based yeah. game. Speed's important. <laughs> and so that is my, my concern, of course. Uh, you know, every character is susceptible to ability block, but I got to tell you, you ability block Mr. Sinister and his value just goes to almost next to nothing. Uh, yeah. it, 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 he's a kind of a one trick pony. He gets ability blocked and he's slow. That's that. Anyways, let's move on to two, two, the two downsides. Yeah. Yeah. The Anyways, block and the speed. Okay. So we're still getting to the characters we're hyped about. There's characters right. I'm hyped about. We haven't got to those yet. All right. We're oh, going to get these. This is, this is the not as hyped. Okay. This, like this guy, guy right here is the best. Oh, look at the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I agree. So uh, I have him at 6'6", six, six, and yes, I just spent 100 gold promotion credits on this guy. Nice. And no regrets. None. He's 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 crazy insane. I agree. I agree. With Shatterstar. With Shatterstar. With Shatterstar. Oh, best, yeah. char best character in the game if you have him with Shatterstar. Standalone character. Ah, best character in the game. I don't know. He's good. Useful, one, like one of the best, yeah. yeah. The Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer's out now. Top five, top five with with Shatterstar. Yeah, so uh, this guy is no joke, and uh, the, I do want to say I'm worried about his effectiveness because uh, he's a stats, right? He's damage, right? And yes, he does yes. have turn meter. He gets extra turn meter, which is amazing. But I don't know how hyped I'm going to be about him a year from now because uh, he might fall off the way that let's talk about characters that fall off quicker than others let's talk about captain marvel versus minerva who fell off first captain marvel yeah okay the kit based characters last longer yeah and then uh black bolt black bolt's fallen off right so awesome this, stats yeah, awesome stats so this guy's a, uh, this guy has you know he's a damage 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 right and and the more damage he does and the more turns he takes the more effective he is and so on uh, I'm worried that he will fall off sooner than, let's say, Mr. Sinister or uh, Silver Surfer is kind of a hybrid of both amazingness of of a kit and stats. My goodness, that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm infatuated with Silver Surfer, specifically his gap. It's the best. Anyways, um, what am I talking about? <laughs> Anyways, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, so, so like I'm, I, you know, so there are. I, I know some people have taken him to seven. I could see I, that doesn't bother me. I would. I'm not personally interested in taking him to seven, uh, but I, I I'm very happy taking him to six. And so uh, this he's the as far as uh, characters I'm the most excited about on this list. Probably long shots at the top of the list. Gotcha. Makes sense. Makes sense. There are some downsides though because you need you need Shatterstar. You need Shatterstar. to make him effective. So you're just taking up two slots on the team instead of just one slot. But if you got Shatterstar, he's both of them. Both of them make each it other. It might as well amazing, just be so. one character that takes two slots. Yeah, that's what they are. That's what they are. The one character that takes up two slots. <laughs> All right, my next. I like him too. Okay, my next second hyped character on this list. So hype, hype, <laughs> hype, hype, hype. Long shot. Hype, 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 hype. Bishop, and sick. I you know I have a six six Bishop. Uh, Ooh. I, I know people have taken him to seven. Uh, if you want to, I, I I rather like again. I rather have three sixes than two sevens. Uh, but uh, yeah, the other thing too is um, the team needs his damage. Absolutely needs his yeah. damage without a doubt. And uh, I got lucky. I did pull him at six red. But I have no problems. Like if anybody says, "Hey, I want to take long shot to six. I want to take bishop to six. Yes. Do it. Tell me. Tell me the. Tell me you. You told me that you saw a big difference just going from four to five, right? It's it's a big oh, yeah. deal. This, this is this is a character that did spend the promotion credits and taking it to four to five. If I had six gold uh, stars on him, I would definitely take him to six gold star or six red stars because yeah, it made a big difference. My axe man, I'm like 
they're good, but my symbiotes, granted, the symbiotes are like 200k higher than them. The symbiotes are working better. And then I and then I put that uh, extra yeah. star on him. Doom raids, smashing it. Uh, we, we don't do Ultimate 7 anymore, but they would smash that better than the symbiotes as well. The stars yes. on him really, really matter. He needs the stats, and he needs Jubilee as well. Because yes. that's a standalone character, not just yes. kind of like a long shot. Not, not as good. He, he yes. needs Jubilee. He, he also be needs him. Beast, I think. I think the three of them, for sure. Uh, so, yeah, um, I think... I think the value for for Bishop and Astonishing X Men is is much better in uh, U seven point five than Doom. He's still useful in Doom, but there's a lot of good mutant choices. There's a lot of yeah. good mutants. Uh, in that's, fact, that's the only problem with his gear because there's a lot of good mutants. <laughs> yeah, so there's so many good mutants right now between Astonishing X Men and, and X Factor and, and you know even Emma's mutant. My God, there's so yeah. many good mutants. Right, Sinister's and, mutant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so uh, Marvel Mutant Force. Um, so that's my only, my only worry is that, you know, his effectiveness in the Doom Raids may be overshadowed by a different team, uh, but in U7.5, I think this is great. Anyways, yes, take him to six red. It's great. All right, let's keep going, and, and not a problem. All right, Jubilee. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Five and stop. Five and okay. stop. I, I'm So she's not on my list. I wanted to put her on here because I think it's important to get her to five. But I'm very happy with Jubilee at five. Very, I'm, I'm no interest in taking her to six. What do you think? I'm happy with her at four. I'm happy with her at All four. Right. I only have, I only pulled four red stars, and she, she is doing good. Bishop, Bishop is making up for a lot of the, the stats that she's missing. Yeah, and and I just wanted to bring that up. I, I feel like Jubilee does do damage, but her primary purpose, I think, is to. Uh, uh, her passive to give turn meter to the team and then facilitating spreading blinds everywhere. And so that is, it, it's not so much doing damage. The The job of damage is more for Bishop. So I, I she's not on my list, but I wanted to talk about her. I, that, that's kind yeah. of what we're doing. I wanted to talk about her. It's like, oh, she's okay. great at five. You say she's great uh, at four. I, I, she's are you great gonna... at four. I'm, I'm Greeks, 4.3. No problem with her at four. Okay. There and, you that, go. and that's in the middle lane without Bishop. So yeah. Okay, there you go. So I, uh, this list is I, that's why there's eleven characters on this because I want to talk about characters that I'm yeah. like, oh, hold down, <laughs> slow down. I understand she's legendary because it's kind of like Ebony Ma, good at five. Stop at five. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to take Ebony Ma higher yeah, than five. If you want to spend on her, spend the silvers. Don't spend the golds. Yeah, yeah, same thing. All right, let's let's go to the next character, Shatterstar. Okay, so I the have other a, half. All right, so uh, the reason why I think I think the reason why I put, I wanted to talk about him on this list is like uh, you can't justify taking long shot to six unless you have at least a five shatter star. Uh, it, it's kind of rough, uh, and so I have a five five shatter star. Let me let me ask you this question, Valley, because I'm not sure myself. So if I I don't have the gold to take him to six, but if I did, would you take him to six 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 red? Um, if if you already have long shot at six, then yes. Like okay. Long shot, I think, should be ahead of Shatterstar if you're spending credits. But at five, he's he's good. He's he's getting that he's getting that barrier to the team. He's with his passive, so so I like him. So I, got, I, I pulled the five. He's he's at five right now, and he's 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 doing work. So if if somebody with, watching the video has a has a six red Shatterstar and loves him, I'd love to hear from you. Put it down in the comments. Anyways. It's worth talking uh, you know about. What, you know, you know who else I want to hear from. If you have a six a red uh, shatter star and a five red long shot, Ooh. is that a good combo? That's 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 who I want to hear from. Yeah, as well in comments. I, it's, it's, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm curious on that too. But anyways, I think I think taking shatter star to five is a no brainer, and a six is a strong contender. I just wanted to mention him because it it, it is a duality of them. They, they are definitely yeah. You, it's, it's like it's like we said. Right? It's like they're, they're two characters. I mean, one one character. Two they're a bonded of pair. They're married. <laughs> they they're are. dad bros. Anyways, uh, they're genetically linked forever. Yes, they're linked forever. Yeah. <laughs> All right. White tiger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I have a five five white tiger, and we talked about her at length on your video. Uh, why did she made your list? She made my list. Uh, go. Uh, very, very good. Uh, Shadowlands. If if you're putting red stars in a character, she, I think, is the most important character. Damage outweighs the healing, so I'd rather have the damage uh, from White Tiger than the healing from Night Nurse. Uh, and she gets turn meter. Every time the, you're dropping an enemy below a certain amount of health, she's getting 70% of turn meter back, so... 
yeah, the more damage she does, the more health, or not yeah. the health, but she's getting speed back. So the, the more damage she's doing, the more speed she's getting. Uh, it just helps the entire team, and the team works properly when you have those stars on White Tiger. It doesn't work as well if she's she's not built up. So so I'll say three things about Shadowlands. Second second best offensive war team in the game for for Alliance War. Second only to Black Order, right? They and they do. <laughs> They they can't she they they're a hard countered in Marauders it, it, like a uh, hard okay. count I've countered almost everything uh, I've seen them beat everything in some some form of a video and but it's all it's all de dependent on having this ridiculously high white tiger it really is yeah and so and, and the value on the Shadowlands team outside of the team or outside of war offense is pretty much restricted to Night Nurse in DD uh, in in the Doom raids. Uh, so it's kind of kind of weird. Just like uh, it's, they're 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 also kind of a high value team. I mean, all you needed is uh, Moon Knight and White Tiger. Most people had the other three ready to go. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I I so I have no problem taking her to five five, uh, and getting the spinning silvers. I don't know if I want to do the six. We'll see, right? It, it, it's really dependent on how how much you value war and how much you value real time arena because that's that's where you're gonna really see the shine of uh, her red stars. If you don't value those modes too much, I mean five should be sufficient. If you value them higher than I do, then six. I still I still don't know if it would go seven, but yeah, I don't I don't recommend sevens right now. I'm not recommending sevens. Yeah. Anyways, uh, sixes maybe. All right. So anyways, you need to understand she needs at least five five. I think silver is not a problem for her. All right. Last on my list, and, I like him. And, and he was your honorable mention, and he was he's my honorable mention only. Uh, I have five five. I did pull a six on him, so I will have him a six six at some point. Um, he's needed for uh, first of all. If you play Doom raids, you understand the skill problem. It's a real yeah. problem, right? The skill it problem is, is it, there's a problem with, with skill, and and the two viable characters right now. Or, or basically, I use five. The five characters I'm using currently, and it might change. Proxima, because I already had her developed. Taskmaster, because he's awesome. Uh, Zemo, because I already had him developed, right? And then Red Guardian, yes. and then and then Night Nurse. Night Nurse. And then Night Nurse. And then it's like I know some people do Corvus sometimes. Widow, 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 Widow could fit in there as well, and Cor and Corvus, like you mentioned. Yeah, yeah but it, it's really about Red Guardian and and Night Nurse. So uh, keep this guy on your radar. Uh, I think he's merits silver promotion credits for sure. It also this is a dependent on whether or not you're doing doom raids or not. And I'm absolutely thrilled to have him at a six six. And he's a plug and play character. And there's two other reasons why he's important. Tell us what's coming out in five point three. Five point three is a rework to skill military that we're uh, we've been looking forward to for so long because that team was supposed to be a great war offense team. They're so inconsistent on war offense. And we're getting another event for training mats that requires military skill. So double double value there, plus the doom. There's 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 a lot of reasons to really invest in this character. Okay, so that is my uh, my top five list to take characters with gold promotion credits. Everybody gives me so much trouble when I make a top ten list and it has and silver and it, silver. And yeah, silver. I, everybody loves it when I make a top ten list that has twenty characters. Well, here you go. Here's a top five list that has way more than five. <laughs> love take it. it. I don't even know how many there was. There's probably like eight or nine on there. I, there were some do not upgrades in there. I had to put some of the do not upgrades in there for sure. But guess what time it is? Uh, it's time. Oh, I, I heard we had some security cam footage. Yeah, it's time for the oh. giveaway. We're, this giveaway is is also tied to some uh, security cam uh, uh, at, uh, at Scopal Nerd, Scopal Next. Boundless. I'm not sure what their name is. Anyways, but we. I really hope you like this video today because if you did, you are in luck. For every single person that likes this video, you'll be getting for free in your account an eight star Ooh. Scopoli job applicant. Oh, this is not is this a scam. For the QA department. Yeah, for their yeah. This is for their QA department. Are there okay. bugs in the game? I don't care. You're hired. Wow. Oh. Wow. That's that's the ultimate question for their QA department. <laughs> That's exactly how it goes down over there. I don't care. You're hired. Wow. What do you think about that? <laughs> I like this footage. It's so realistic, too. Okay. If you're it's, looking, especially the dialogue, if you're looking for a more definitive top five list, head over to Valley Fine's channel where there's actually a proper top five list. <laughs> Anything you want to say before we go? We have fun. We always have fun. All our videos are always fun. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Bye for now.
I can still hear you. I, I can hear you. These gamers are cool. <laughs> hey, keep on gaming. This gamer's cool. You can only say that yeah. if you're depressed, though. Cad baby. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a comment if you re if you know that reference. 